In this video, we'll show you how we shored up our slide-out floor, a 2000 Alpha Leisure Ideal fifth wheel. Let's give you some history about what's going on here with the floor. I thought uh, I had a problem underneath where I sit at the table. It was very spongy, um, possibly the plywood was going to give in at any time so um, I wanted to see what was going on so we tore it apart and this is what we found. What I found was there was no sponginess in the floor whatsoever. It was the people that installed the carpet put in irregular pieces of padding maybe about a foot or a foot and a half and there was plenty of gaps in between. But I did notice some deterioration of the plywood after almost 20 years of service. Looks like we caught it in time. I did a lot of research to try to find out what would be the best solution. And I found uh, something from TotalBoat.com. It's called Penetrating Epoxy. I've never used it before, but it sounded fascinating. So I bought a gallon of it. I bought some denatured alcohol. You can also use acetone. How I applied this product was a little bit different than what they did in TotalBoat.com video. I actually poured about four ounces on the application site and then spread it around with my brush. I wanted to make sure I had enough product on there so that it would penetrate down into the wood successfully with no problems. The one thing I will say is if you use a denatured alcohol, and denatured alcohol will evaporate and it'll set off the alarms in your uh, fifth wheel or coach. If you're in the sunlight, you most definitely have to paint it with some kind of a paint which has a UV filter in it to keep it from being destroyed. Depending on what kind of shape your floor is in, you may want to use a piece of plywood to help shore it up. And that's okay because you've got a lip at the end of the slide out to where it's flush is about a half an inch so half inch plywood could go in there quite easily it would be a more of an expense but mine seemed to be okay so I did without it I went and got some Otoban padding from Lowe's not every Lowe's will sell it to you by the linear foot we wanted to correct past mistakes that's why we got enough padding to be able to put in the entire length of the 12 foot slide out floor notice that we do have tack strip uh, on three sides i didn't want to take the time to silicone or glue the padding down that was probably a better way what i did is i stapled it and it came out okay everything seems to be fine I used a plug-in stapler and it's got a sensing device where you really have to push it down before it even work. We have completed attaching the carpet padding. Now it's time to lay the carpet and I was a little apprehensive about it. Since one side was already attached, the job turned out being easy. I purchased a carpet kicker installation tool. Yes, you can rent one for about half the price, but for a few dollars more, I purchased one from Harbor Freight, also used a 20% discount. I also used an electric stapler. It took both myself and my wife to put the carpet back in. I was amazed by the results. The fifth wheel is my lifeboat and spending over $7,000 to replace the floor, especially when it wasn't needed, was crazy. The penetrating epoxy was an insurance to keep the floor in great shape for a few years longer. The floor is now waterproof. A boat is a little bit different than an RV since my fifth wheel will take a lot more bumps that wouldn't happen in a boat. I will monitor the epoxy and put my results in the text area before the YouTube video. Thank you for watching this video about shoring up your slide out floor. We hope in some way that it helped you get along in your RV journeys. My solution, however, may not be your solution, so do your due diligence and do your research before using this idea.
Please note that all RVs are not the same. Even the same model in the same year may be different depending on when they were on the assembly line. This is the old RVer, and we're off to hit the road again with My RV Adventures.